everyone today i'll teach you the power of spot heights what are the 3d analysis and 3d features we can uh, create using uh, spot heights you can do a lot of things like creation of contours creation of uh, triangulated irregular network or tin or uh, 3d in the form of uh, raster it can be done using uh, arc gis first open the arc gis screen and go to the option tools and click on add xy data here you need to specify an excel file or the file in csv format that you have already saved where you have first column as latitude second column as longitude and the third column as altitude if you don't you can just go to excel create a table accordingly and save it using save as option in CSV format move to that file and select that this is exactly what I have done in uh, this particular file select OK and you can change latitude and longitude for X and Y if you feel that you have interchanged them while creation click OK and uh, click OK because you need not have object ID for this particular table and you were all the points are added to the screen these are the points with the spot heights you can just open the attribute table and see that you have the altitude column here these are the basic points using which you will be creating your contours once you have uh, this CSV format whatever to be done in arc map requires everything to be in shape file format how do we do that just right click on the file there is an option called data and there is an option called export data click on that by default it will be exported to SHP format I'll consider the default file name and click OK the result will not be anything different but just the same points whatever you have already but this is in shape format once you have done this you need to do some surface interpolation using some one of the techniques available in arc gi now you have uh, export output 2 in the form of shape file go to spatial analyst there is an option called interpolate to raster you can use any of the techniques i will be using krieging technique just click on that by default your uh, shape file is considered as input points Z field is latitude you should change it to altitude because your third dimension is in altitude thereafter you can uh, keep everything as default you can uh, just change the name of the output file and number of points everything you can change but I'll keep everything as default and click OK your uh, raster will be added raster in the form of 3d will be added to your screen this is your raster with the height values now it looks like a dem say you need to create contours of out of it go to spatial analyst again and there is an option called surface analysis there you have an option called contour click on that and input surface will be the Krieging output and contour interval you can change it I'll keep it as 3 meters and you can specify the output file name I'll keep it as default and click OK now remove everything you have your contour maps displayed on your screen similarly you can do many more uh, analysis uh, in uh, surface like you can create a slope map you can create an aspect map hill shade map view shade map etc etc just by clicking on th those particular menu options now say that you have uh, the contour map you want to create a triangulated irregular network you can do that by going to 3d analyst and the option create and modify tin create tin from features is the option that you need to select